The moment you've all been waiting for, the Contractor's TF2 mod is finally here. It seems like it was yesterday that the Team Fortress 2 mod released onto the Contractors mod page, but actually, it's been a whole year, which is kind of crazy to think about because my channel really didn't get its start until that video went up. I believe it was one of my first videos that I made to hit 1k views, and on the day that I posted it, it just kept growing and growing. This showed me that a lot of people really cared about this mod and wanted to see it grow and prosper, and eventually, that did happen. We're almost at the completion of the entire base game, you know, except for like 95% of the weapons, but still, having all the core classes in there is a huge step from before where it was a low poly scout model, tinted blue, with no team affiliation running around with the engineer's shotgun. Honestly, it's been a whole crazy year, and to think that the Team Fortress 2 mod came all this way in just 365 days is absolutely insane. So, to honor this, I'm going to cover every update and a short history of Team Fortress 2 in VR. While the actual release date of the update is kind of fuzzy, in fact, you know, one of my good friends talked with the developers and even he couldn't figure out what actual day it released on. So, you know, to make this argument easier, I would say that the day that the mod came out is going to be the day that I uploaded the video on it. Because immediately after recording, I had uploaded the video on it on October 26, 2022. And at the start, it came from a very humble beginning. The Team Fortress 2 mod was more like Scout with a Gun mod running around a very, very low performance 2 fort with a very low poly Scout model loading the base contractor shells into the engineer's shotgun. A slow start, a humble one, but would soon grow into probably one of the most popular mods apart from probably like the COD Z mod, but hey come on that's to be expected. Now, the Pyro and Soldier update as I've called it because, you know, that's what the name of the video is called and I personally like to think of myself as the documenter for all the updates of the game so far, was the first major Team Fortress 2 update since its launch. Of course, 20 minutes after I uploaded the first video, they added the pistol, but that was a reskin deagle. Even when had the same recoil and missing texture shells. Just like contractors. But anyways, the Pyro and Soldier mod but anyways, the Pyro and Soldier update did, as you expect, add the Pyro and the Soldier. And the Pyro is a very interesting case because he happened to be one of the buggiest, buggiest classes in the entire game for a while. So bad to the point where it took me almost four hours to get actual gameplay footage of him because of the reason why is that he would keep crashing every time you'd use his flamethrower or another Pyro on the map would use his flamethrower and because he would be a newer class everyone would be using the flamethrower. Now the reason why this was happening is kind of unknown. It was mainly due to a offset or a desync between the two different mod versions which caused, you know, people who loaded in on the PC version of the mod and people who were playing on the Quest version of the mod had different versions and would clash with each other because of how the Pyro's flamethrower worked. A bunch of random stuff like that, you know. And it actually while the Pyro was my favorite class, it made it very hard to actually play the game because you had to basically pray that you got into a server that was started up by somebody who actually, you know, didn't want to cause hell to everyone else because it kept crashing. And the soldier is, as you expect, pretty funny. He's actually a really, really fun class in the game, and at the start, he had some of the craziest movement ever with his rocket jumping, considering that the rocket jumper was way, way too, too overpowered than it already was. Like, 
seriously broken. You know, looking back through some of these updates, they kind of follow a similar trend. Huge change happens, major things get added, classes get added, and the first class that gets added is going to be the most broken thing in the entirety of existence, then gets nurtured to the ground, then gets revitalized, and finally, might be balanced. This is the case with Sniper and Demo Man, as Demo Man's sticky bombs were way too underpowered and kind of just flopped out of the gun. The pipe bombs were insane because they had so much bouncing opportunities that you could basically just ping pong them down a hallway and get a triple kill. And that also made the sticky bombs unusable because not only would they do insane amounts of self damage, but they'd also just kind of fall out of the gun. Sniper, on the other hand, was a whole different can of worms. He basically had guaranteed crits if you were looking at a player, and he could do insane, fully automatic sniping by just flicking the bolt up and down, not needing to scope in, and doing fully charged headshots on any class at any time. No charge mechanic, nothing. This character was insane. Like, you couldn't even play the game if there was a guy who just was like a sentry on your team, because he would just be auto-locking on the people and just spamming them with body shots to kill them. It didn't even take that much skill. It was insane. It was inhumane. And he's still like that. Kind of. But now it actually takes slightly more skill to play him, so I'll let that one slide for now. The next major update added the Medic, which actually was a pretty crucial class because at the time there was no health packs and having to run around finding those little ammo packages things or running back to the resupply like in actual base contractors, it made it really hard to actually conserve your health on the battlefield, which I guess did make some players more skillful because you actually had less health and not a public dispenser that would run around and heal you at twice the normal rate, but still. Having the Medic was a crucial role in completing the full Feels Like TF2 experience. At the time, Medic was actually pretty fun, minus a couple quality of life changes that he got later, but one of the coolest things I remember was the ability to heal yourself from your Medic gun. You can basically just point it at yourself and press the button to heal yourself, which was a really cool feature, and it's kind of sad that it got removed, but obviously it got removed for reasons because not only was dual wielding a huge problem at the time, but considering you could just have infinite heals while you spam them with a bone saw or with your syringe gun, it kind of was a bit overpowered. This next update was a bit of a bait for me because honestly, everyone was really thinking the engineer wasn't going to work because of how complicated it was and how different it was from actual contractors VR. The reskinning weapon models and adding own sound effects in the models is one thing, but having a class that can set up and change how the map is played and moved around is an insane gameplay feature that I don't even think was intended when they added, you know, mod support for the game in the first place. So when they released this small little beta that added the engineer to the game, it was absolutely insane. Even though it was a very, very scuffed build. You held your wrench backwards, you could only build a mini sentry, the mini sentry had no light on the top, and as far as I was concerned, it didn't really do anything. But, however, the hope for engineers still kept pushing on, and eventually, this would lead up to probably one of the most hypest updates of all time for the mod. This next update had, like, 10 weapons or something. Actually, it was 5, but still. I have the degreaser, direct hit, the loose cannon, and I believe the sticky bomb jumper and the rocket jumper were added in a little bit of later updates, or they might have been added before. However, still, they added a ton of weapons. Enough said. At the same time, while people were still super hyped up for Engineer, you know, the hype was starting to die down a bit as people were starting to realize the insurmountable task that was before the developers about how they were actually going to implement Engineer. But in the meantime, we got some small, insignificant updates like bug fixes and stupid stuff like that. But, you know, obviously this is a joke. Bug fixes and tweaks and all this other stuff is extremely important. And we're missing out on probably one of the best features. They added a ton of new maps. In fact, the video that I'm showing, I was playing on one of the new maps, actually. Which was also my favorite, Farnworth. It is an amazing map that, for some reason, ran horribly, which is why nobody picked it. Which sucks, because I really like that map.
Spencer going up. Well, I guess that'll do. Finally, after three whole months since the last little hint that we would be getting the engineer, he existed. He came into the game after a very ominous DM from uh, from one of the head developers to me. And honestly, it was probably the most insane update ever, even though it only added one class, but you know, that's like saying, like, I don't know what it's saying. But it only added the engineer, except the engineer also came with his dispenser and sentry and teleporters, which made him so, so good. It finally stopped the whole meta of just having, like, if you didn't have a medic, you were screwed over, basically. And instead, a much more competent, much more TF2-E, TF2 VR was born, and thus marked the one year mark for this video. Sure, there have been a couple updates since the engineer update, but right now, I think, we're in a really good spot, and they keep adding cosmetics and other things too, to make the game feel much more polished, especially the cosmetics, I really like those. And some new weapons here and there get added, and it's pretty cool and all. But I think this is where it's going to stop for the history up until this point of Team Fortress 2 and VR.